What's going on guys? T-Mart here. Welcome back to another episode of Game of Thrones. But now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. Last house standing wins. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. What you need more than anything is an ally. I have to get in there, Sarah. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. If you don't help me, I'll tell everyone your secret. You're weak, just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. <gasps> <gasps> Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him that the North Grove must never be lost. They're everywhere! We make for the North Grove! This is quite the recap. This is a long one. Let me save your life. Oh, Our this house. is tough, dude. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. Oh my god, and that's where we left off. Alright, boys, so this is episode 6 of the series. It's the final chapter of this game. But it's shaping up to be pretty epic. Gods. Can you see anything? Is it the North Grove? I don't know yet. All right, so here we go. This is our, our note that we got. North Grove beneath the watchful eye of the Ice the Dragon. North Grove beneath the watchful eye of the Ice Dragon. The Ice Dragon. Huh. We also have this over here. Forester Sigil? The Forester Sigil. Sigil. Those look like ironwood trees. Might be on the right track. Hear the werewoods whisper. Hear the werewoods whisper. Haven't seen any werewoods this far north. Look at the stars or look at the tall trees. Ooh, look at the How northern many lights. People have seen the sky like this. That's pretty incredible. I've seen those in real life. They're amazing. That must be it. We're close. I think I found it. You found it? Are you sure? We can't afford to waste any more time. Not with the condition he's in. You just have to trust me. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? Which is nowhere anyone in their right mind would be. <laughs> We're close. I know it. I believe you, Garrett. I hope you're right. I don't know how much further he can go. Oh, God. We need to keep moving. Oh, oh. Let's go, homie. His wound is getting worse. Oh, he burns. He burns like all seven L's combined. Oh. Oh. Listen, Garrett. I know I'm not well. And up here, up here that can get you killed. But you've always been there for me. If anything happens... I want you to leave me. You 
take Sylvie and don't look back. Promise me, Garrett. I need to know you'll do it. If it comes to it, I'll do it. Thank you, Garrett. I've got a feeling we actually are gonna have to make that decision. What are you doing? We should honor I his found words there. Nightshade. As hard as it is. It's poisonous, but in small doses it can help with pain. It's rare this far north. We can use the nightshade to make Cotter more comfortable. Right. It'll help keep him calm too, in the right amount. Luckily, I know how to use it. Can you help? I don't like this, dude. Oh god, what is that? You see this? Look at the tree, the marks on it. Holy cow, that's a bear, dude. Claw marks? Whatever made this must be enormous. Oh! <gasps> Gods. Not frozen. Must be a fresh kill. Jesus, dude. It's been torn apart. Oh, whoa! It's a werewood tree. Is it crying blood? Oh shit! Got it! Is that a polar bear? Don't go Shit. in his cave. We have to cross the ice. Get Cotter across. I'll hold it off. Go. Dude, what is this? Is he going to break the ice and fall in? Oh, my God. Oh my god! He's struggling. Thanks, Cotter. Can't have been good for him to fall down like that with that arm. Seven house. Dude, I don't like this at all. Come on. No, 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 no. That was Mama Bear out there. We're about to find Daddy Bear in here. North Grove. Oh, finally. Look at this place. Wow. I can hardly believe it's real. Oh, fuck. Whoever they are, they can help us. Oh, sh. Hurry! We better go. Are you kidding me? Dude, polar bears, they're like. They look all cute and fuzzy and cuddly and fun, but they're they're serious business. I think they're the most aggressive, like most dangerous type of bear, even more than brown or black bears.
was that about? High Vs. Wait! Uh, no! Uh, Garrett! Tell them! Uh. I'm a Forester. I represent House Forester, our squire to Lord Gregor himself. Nice, that worked. <laughs> All right, boys, here we go. This is gonna be a uh, a pretty intense episode. So, yeah. We haven't played this game in a while. We got through all first the five episodes. We all we like played them right when they came out and stuff. And then the sixth one came out a couple of months ago. But I've been so like crazy busy with the new Call of Duties and um, you know Fallout and uh, just Cause and all these other games that it kind of slipped my mind. I actually got a tweet from somebody the other day. He was like, "Bro, are you gonna finish up on Game of Thrones?" And I'm like, "Holy cow! Like this has been a fantastic series. I do want to finish it. We're right at the very end. It should it should be pretty epic. So that's what we're doing." So we're doing, boys. We finally had a, uh, we got through a couple of games. We're a little bit more free in the schedule. We have some more, some more space in our time slots for uploads throughout the day. So I figured, why not? It's going to be a short game, probably, I don't know, like five, six, seven episodes, something like that. And uh, we'll be able to see how it all concludes. Should be good. Here we go, boys. I've never, I still haven't ever seen the, the actual TV show, which is funny. I think it's weird that we're playing this game and I've never, never seen it. I like it. I mean, I love the game, so maybe I like the TV show too. Let me know what you guys, if you guys have watched it, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Just narrowly escaped a uh, crazy polar bear attack and now we're going to be moving across the world with Mira. King's Landing. A little bit easier lifestyle up here in this uh, royal palace. Eavesdrop. What were you thinking? Should we open it or should we wait? I guess let's just go ahead and go for it. Please, Lady Marjorie. Please don't send me back to Highgarden. Finally, you grace us with your presence. I was beginning to think you'd found someone else to serve. My lady, is there something I can help you with? I'll get to you in a moment. Do you realize how precarious my position is with Cersei? Of course, my lady. Of all the people in King's Landing, you steal from the Queen I Regent. I didn't mean... Did you know about this? Sarah's been stealing wine. From Cersei, no less. No, my lady. It doesn't sound like something Sarah would do. Is that so? I had no idea. Really? Half the servants in the keep are talking about it, but somehow you're in the dark? Where's my seal? I haven't seen it in weeks. I stole it. Do you know where it <laughs> went, Mira? Do you think that our thief here pocketed it too? I've got it in my hands. Oh, my lady, please. I, I would never steal from you. I've yet to meet the thief who'd admit they would. Uh, I have the seal, my lady. I was holding on to it for safekeeping. Oh. Well, at least it's found. Whew! That's the bullet I'm there. I'm sorry. It's not right to accuse without proof. It's just... I need order in my household. Until I'm married to Tommen, I can't afford any more mistakes. I have no choice but to make changes among my handmaidens. No! Tommen's garden party mirror. What were you thinking? I can't believe you'd be so irresponsible. It was a foolish mistake, Lady Marjorie. We shouldn't have disobeyed you. At least you're honest about it. Sarah's been saying some damning things about you, Mira. I suspect in an effort to save her own neck. My lady, please! You've said enough. One of you must answer for this. 
Sarah says you forced her to get you into the party. You've been with me a long time, Mira. When I'm queen, I'll need people I can count on. Please, tell me this isn't true. Please, Mira. I don't deserve to lose my position for this. Should we be a savage or not? I'm begging you to tell her the truth. Sarah, please. I'm gonna be honest. Honesty is the best policy. I'm not savage enough for that. Sarah's telling the, the truth. This has been building for some time, Mira, but it still breaks my heart. I've been nothing but good to you. I've put up with your schemes. I've even tried to help you and your family where I could. And you repay me with this. I feel... betrayed. I won't have it. You'd have done the same in my position. Don't tell me what I would or would not do. Consider yourself dismissed from my service. But, but, but my lady... Get out! <laughs> that scowl! I should have thrown her under the bus, man. <sighs> At least we can be happy with ourselves, though. I'd feel bad if we threw under the bus Mira, and then wait. got off scot-free. After what you told Tarwick, I swore I would never talk to you again. But I have to ask, why did you stop Lady Marjorie from sending me home? I expected I'd be on my way to High Garden by now. But you stood up for me. You're my friend, Sarah. I look after the people I care about. That hasn't always been the case. But I appreciate it now. I know you didn't have to. I wish things had turned out differently. But I suppose this is goodbye. I'm not sure when. I'm not sure we'll see each other again. King's Landing has a way of changing a person, Sarah. You're too good to let that happen to you. I don't think I will change, Mira. It's just not who I am. Since you helped me with Marjorie, I owe it to you to tell you this. There are some vile rumors going on about you. Rumors? About you murdering a Lannister guard. Oh, shoot. I thought you should know. Thanks, Sarah. Careful, Mira. You're on your own now. People know? How do they know?